The differences between the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the XL Bully are often unclear. While some people think they are of the same breed, others think there is a significant difference between them. Do you know the difference between the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the XL Bully? You're in luck if you're one of the many people who aren't sure how these two dogs differ from one another. Any confusion you may have will be eliminated by watching this video. Although the two widely used dog breeds may appear to be similar, there are some important distinctions that you should be aware of. We'll help you understand the distinctions between the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the XL Bully. Staffordshire Terriers versus XL American Bullies Size The size difference between the XL Bully and Staffordshire Bull Terrier is one of the most obvious. The XL Bully is a large dog, whereas the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a medium-sized dog in terms of size. The XL Bully typically weighs between 70 and 120 pounds, whereas the Staffordshire Bull Terrier weighs typically between 35 and 40 pounds. Therefore, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the best choice if you're looking for a smaller dog. On the other hand, the XL Bully is a better choice if you're looking for a large dog. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Temperament Like American Pit Bull Terriers, Staffordshire Bull Terriers and XL American Bullies are companion breeds. Both of these dogs enjoy being around people and are kind and loving. However, the American Bully XL is dominated by the American Pit Bull Terrier breed, also known as the American Staffordshire Terrier. The XL American Bully consequently shares a lot of the same traits. Since both breeds are extremely affectionate and people-oriented, aggressive behavior shouldn't be anticipated in either one. Due to its substantial size and sturdy construction, the XL American Bully is more likely to experience it. The Inherent Behavior of American Bullying These qualities consist of Defending their family and Being kind and patient with kids being amiable to other animals, a desire to please their owner, being knowledgeable and teachable, Staffordshire Bull Terrier's biological characteristics. These qualities consist of, on the other hand, Staffordshire Bull Terriers are not as dominant. As a result, they are less likely to be aggressive toward other animals and less likely to be overly protective of their family. Additionally, friendly and loving dogs who enjoy being around people, Staffordshire Bull Terriers are. But unlike the XL American Bully, they are not as eager to please their owner. Although intelligent, Staffordshire Bull Terriers can be independent and challenging to train. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Appearance Physically, the XL Bully and the Staffordshire Bull Terrier are very similar. Both dogs have short, colorful coats that are thick and different shades. The XL Bully can have a black, blue, fawn, or brindle coat, while the Staffordshire Bull Terrier typically has a black, brindle, or blue coat. The United Kennel Club has recognized colors for these well-known breeds. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier has a narrower head and chest, whereas the XL Bully also has a broad skull and chest. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Lifespan The longevity of these various breeds is one trait they all share. The lifespans of the XL Bully and Staffordshire Bull Terrier are 12 to 14 years. These dogs generally live long and healthy lives like other animals, despite the possibility that their athletic build, weight, diet, training, and health issues may shorten their lives. These relatives will give you a lifetime of love and companionship. Therefore, the XL Bully or Staffordshire Bull Terrier would be a wonderful addition to your family if you're looking for a devoted and loving canine. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Breed History The Staffordshire Bull Terrier and XL Bully share a common ancestor and breed history when it comes to their origin and ancestry. During the 19th century, both dogs were originally bred in England. They were both developed for blood sports, bull baiting, and dog fighting. The Bull Terrier, Old English Bulldog, and Manchester Terrier are the ancestors of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. The XL Bully, on the other hand, is a cross between the English Bulldog and the American Pit Bull Terrier. 
American Bully and Staffordshire Bull Terrier alternate names. Given that they originated in the United States, American Bullies are also referred to as Pit Bulls or Pit Bull Terriers, but they also go by other names. On the other hand, people often call Staffordshire Bull Terriers Staffy or Staffy. Differences between a Staffordshire Terrier and an XL American Bully there are differences between the XL Bully and Staffordshire Bull Terrier, just like there are in every other dog breed. Various American Bullies Standard The most prevalent kind is the Standard American Bully. The weight range for these medium-sized dogs is 35 to 50 pounds. Classic A scaled-down version of the Standard American Bully is the Classic American Bully. Their typical weight ranges from 30 to 40 pounds. Pocket. The smallest variety of American Bully is called the Pocket American Bully. They typically weigh 25 to 35 pounds. XL. The biggest variety of American Bully is called an XL. Their typical weight ranges from 70 to 120 pounds. In addition to these, American Bully breeds have connections to a number of other species, including United States Staffordshire Terrier Bull Terrier of Staffordshire Pit Bull Terriers in America A British Bulldog English Bulldog Corso Cane A traditional English Bulldog Variations of the Staffordshire Bull Terrier Standard most people are familiar with the standard Staffordshire Bull Terrier breed. Between 35 and 40 pounds, they are medium-sized dogs. Miniature A scaled-down version of the standard Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the miniature Staffordshire Bull Terrier. Normally, they weigh 25 to 35 pounds. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier shares a family tree with the following breeds. Bull Terriers United States Staffordshire Terrier United States Pitbull Terrier Bull Terrier in English There is no denying the relationship between Staffordshire Bull Terriers and the American Bully breed. It should come as no surprise that these two dogs are so similar given their shared ancestry and breed history. These two breeds can be more challenging to tell apart than others due to differences in size, coat color, or build. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully in a Diet A dog's health and well-being are significantly influenced by diet. It's crucial to select premium dog food that's suitable for your dog's breed, age, and level of activity. Dietary differences between the XL Bully and Staffordshire Bull Terrier are minimal. Like other bully breeds, XL Bullies frequently eat the following foods after they have been prepared. Beef chicken, fish, pork, vegetables, fruits. Pit bulls and Staffordshire Terriers both eat the same foods as do other closely related breeds like the American Staffordshire Terrier and the Bull Terrier. Like other closely related breeds, Staffordshire Bull Terriers frequently eat the following when it comes to food preparation. Beef, chicken, fish, pork, vegetables, fruits. Both breeds don't have particular dietary preferences. Generally speaking, they will consume anything offered to them. It is important to note that giving them table scraps can cause obesity, so this should not be done. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Health Issues A happy owner has a healthy dog. Knowing the health issues specific to your dog breed is crucial for this reason. Typical Health Problems in American Bully Breeds Like other bully breeds, the XL American Bully is susceptible to the following health issues. Allergies Environmental and food allergies are both common. Anemia It is a condition where there are fewer red blood cells in circulation. Furunculosis anal The anal sacs are infected with bacteria, which can result in abscesses and fistulas. Right ventricular cardiomyopathy with arrhythmias. Arrhythmias and congestive heart failure may result from this heart condition. Chernobyl eye. It is a tear gland prolapse in the third eyelid. Demoticosis. It is an ailment of the skin brought on by demodex mites. 
dysplastic hips. Arthritis may result from a hip joint developmental anomaly. Common health problems in Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Like other terriers, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is susceptible to the following health issues. Allergies. Reactions to food, pollen, and other environmental triggers may be among them. Autoimmune conditions. When the body produces antibodies that attack its tissues, these disorders develop. Cancer. Although cancer can affect any dog, Staffordshire Bull Terriers appear to be more prone to certain forms of the illness, like lymphoma and skin tumors. Chronic heart disease. The pulmonic stenosis, a narrowing of the blood vessels leading to the lungs, and congenital heart disease may be predisposed in Staffordshire Bull Terriers. Infected ears. Due to their long, floppy ears, Staffordshire Bull Terriers are prone to ear infections. Eye issues. Eye issues in Staffordshire Bull Terriers can include glaucoma, cataracts, and progressive retinal atrophy. Gastritis with volvulus. This life-threatening condition, also known as bloat, can affect any dog but seems to be more prevalent in deep-chested breeds like the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. When the stomach twists on itself, causing a gastric dilatation volvulus, gas and fluid are trapped inside. If not treated right away, it may result in the stomach rupturing and be fatal. Knowing about these health issues will enable you to better look after your dog and stop or identify issues early. Your Staffordshire Bull Terrier or XL American Bully will live a long and happy life with regular trips to the vet, a balanced diet, and lots of exercise. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Training and Exercise Requirements The Staffordshire Bull Terrier and the XL American Bully exhibit distinct differences in health and behavior as a result of early training as puppies. Both domesticated dogs enjoy training exercises like Sit Down Come Stay Heal Wait Due to their reputation for being more independent thinking and stubborn, Staffordshire Bull Terriers may require more persistence and patience during training. The XL American Bully is known for being intelligent and eager to please, which helps them pick up commands more quickly. Daily exercise, such as walks, runs, and playtime, will be beneficial to both dogs. The XL American Bully might benefit from shorter, more frequent exercise sessions while the Staffordshire Bull Terrier might require more training to burn off energy. Staffordshire Terrier vs. XL American Bully Recognition Kennel clubs are a great resource for learning about these breeds. Breed standards, which serve as guidelines for describing the ideal physical attributes and behavior of a particular species, are made available by kennel clubs. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier has the following breed standard. The Dog Club, UK. United States Kennel Club. Canine Club of Canada. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not recognized by the United Kennel Club. The following is the XL American Bully Breed Standard. American Kennel Club. The Kennel Club, UK, American Kennel Club, and Canadian Kennel Club do not recognize the XL American Bully. The Kennel Club, UK, American Kennel Club, and Canadian Kennel Club all recognized the American Staffordshire Terrier, Staffordshire Terrier, and Stafford, but the United Kennel Club does not. To avoid confusion, dog owners should be aware of the terminology variations. FAQs about Staffordshire Terriers and XL Bullies What's the best way to train my XL American Bully or Staffordshire Bull Terrier? A. Daily exercise for both dogs, such as walks, runs, and playtime, will be beneficial. The XL American Bully might benefit from shorter, more frequent exercise sessions while the Staffordshire Bull Terrier might require more training to burn off energy. My XL American Bully slash Staffordshire Bull Terrier may have hip dysplasia, according to me. What ought I to do? A vet examination is the best course of action if you suspect your dog has hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a serious condition that can impair mobility and cause pain. The quality of life for your dog can be improved with early detection and treatment. What foods are best for my XL American Bully or Staffordshire Bull Terrier? A. All dogs need to eat a balanced diet, 
but Staffordshire Bull Terriers and XL American Bullies especially need it. Due to these breeds' propensity for obesity, selecting a food that is both high in protein and low in fat is crucial. The risk of your dog developing health issues is increased by foods high in sodium, so you should avoid them as well. As a result, the purebred status of the terrier as opposed to the American bully is a glaring distinction between the two breeds. XL American bullies are known to be eager to please and intelligent, whereas Staffordshire Bull Terriers are known to be more obstinate and headstrong. Last but not least, kennel clubs are a fantastic resource for learning about breed standards and these dogs. I hope this article will help you to understand the ambiguity surrounding these two well-known breeds.